Now that we've seen that we can have uh, properties and methods in an object, uh, let's move forward a bit and let's see how we can have an object within an object. Um, and it's uh, very simple. Uh, basically, you can, from the example, from the given example of uh, the object cube, uh, you can add another property uh, to this um, object and then assign, instead of assigning a value, assign an object, a complete object. Uh, and let me show you how you can do that. So now you can see that you have your object cube. You just added a new property called material and you have assigned it uh, this object. So you can see this object has two properties further, name, uh, which is glass, and then rating, which is a number. We've just given, an, given it a number, uh, three. Uh, so if I enter and I can see that uh, an object has been created with two properties, name and glass. And now let me try to inspect um, cube again. And you can see that cube has a length property, width, height, color property, but it has an extra property, a new property now, uh, with the name of material, which we've just added. And you can see that it is an object. So the rest of those properties, so the rest of these properties have the values, however, material is an object. Um, and let's drill down uh, into the object. Um, and here we can see that it has a method, uh, create volume, uh, but uh, these are all the different properties. And this is the newly added property, which is a material. We can drill down further to, to inspect uh, this object. And we can see uh, that um, uh, the details of this newly added object inside our cube object. So this is how you can add an object within an object.